everybody. This is Urban Booze and I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And this is part two, 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 two of our four part series. Uh, Labor Day weekend. Beers, you know, beers that we should try, you know, while we're on our very restful, non traveling, non barbecuing Labor Day weekend. Right. <laughs> so uh, today we are going to try Pollen Breweries. Pale Ale. Um, you know, shout out to Celeste Beatty who was so kind to uh, to be our first uh, interviewer when we launched Urban Booze, and uh, certainly we are very excited about trying this Pale Ale. Uh, she's the one who kind of put in my head that, be, not being a beer drinker, that I could take this and make some really marvelous punches, which I love to do. So we're gonna try this pale ale this was in the freezer and it's very cold it's very cold there we go but you know laura's a beer connoisseur so i'm gonna I'm let her kind of tell you a little bit about this pale ale and what i need to know about it you know because oops <laughs> that's what happens when you put it in the freezer i only did it for it was, it was already minutes. in the refrigerator so it was already fairly cold so in keeping in with the Labor Day theme, and of course we couldn't get the Popeye's chicken sandwich, we went and got KFC's Chicken Littles, mm -hmm. which has been there for quite a while, and it's quite right. tasty. KFC's been in business making chicken and chicken sandwiches for a long time. They're so not selling out. They're not selling out, but this is this has been their literally literal bread and butter for what, 50, 60 years at this mm -hmm. point? So let's see. This is a little bitter. Is it? Well, take At least a bite. to me. I'm gonna have the Nashville hot chicken little, and Peggy's gonna take the. I regular. want the original. Well, why can't I find it? Maybe some That's house. barbecue. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Mmm. Well, you think you had the Popeye sandwich? I had the Popeye sandwich last week. It was delicious. It was divine. I'm not gonna give Popeyes anymore. They know they have a good thing going there. I'm a little disappointed, KFC. <laughs> I've been eating this for over a couple of years, so I like it. But I've never had it with some beer, so here we go. Hmm. The beer is nice. I actually like the flavor of the beer. What are you, what are you tasting? I like the smoothness. I don't wanna say it's sweet, but it does have a night, nice, it's really refreshing. I don't think that's just from the cold. What's that? Wheat? Is the that what it is? Wheat? Maybe? Yeah. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying to elevate myself. <laughs> Beer is good. Beer is refreshing. And that's really all we're going for here. It's like, how does this make what we're eating taste a little bit better? And since I'm not impressed with what I'm eating, let's see if the beer can really make it taste better. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm having the natural hot. No heat here. It's Labor Day, y'all. It's Labor Day. <laughs> We're in New York City. The largest West Indian Day parade outside of any of the Caribbean islands is going to happen in my neighborhood. But this is where we all live. We're living out here in Queens, not all of us, but you know, there's people celebrating. It's Juve. All it's right, Juvet. that's right. And this is one of the, you know, I guess next to Brooklyn and in my area. We have a very, very large, uh, you know, Caribbean neighborhood represented here. We have, we have Haiti, we have Jamaica, Trinidad, mm -hmm. you know, we are all, all here together. So you're gonna hear cars going by with music, mm -hmm. but okay, the beer is refreshing and it could be because it's cold, but I'm not, I'm not one over by the weedy taste, you know? I, I'm not sure about that, but you know what? Again, if I can make it to a punch, it might go over better. <laughs> Peggy might try and turn it into a beer arito or a beer sangria. Stay tuned for that, because I'm going I'm to figure it out. I, of course, will pour it into a larger glass. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, that'll be fine. So, all right, y'all, this is just another idea, you know, or, you know, different beers that are out there. We want to really try to cover, you know, the up and coming, you know, brew meisters or brew masters. Uh, like Celeste, who seems to be the queen of craft beer, mm -hmm. um, 
finder. You could, um, I think you can order it from the tap room. I uh, will talk about that later on. I think you can look it up. It's, uh, you can order it in Brooklyn. And I was told you can find in Pioneer uh, supermarkets. But certainly go out there and support. Look up Harlem Brewery and see what they're doing. Uh, this is just one of the beers, the Sugar Ale, the Sugar Hill Pale Ale. And uh, and if you guys have come across, you know, any beers, we're gonna look at hard cider. I am really, I am really pushing myself to, to like beer. But join me for this journey. <laughs> join us. And then if you already like beer, you'll know. You know, and then let and if you already like beer and you have a favorite, let us know. What's good? What are you eating with your chicken sandwiches, with your string beans and potatoes, with your coleslaw? What are you eating that really offsets it and makes it nice? Right, with good play play to curry chicken, y'all, like or roti. Right. You know, right. tell us what is it that you like to have? Because you know what? We really do as adults, as grown folks, mm -hmm. we really do need to add a little bit more than just soda. It, it doesn't water. have to always be sweet tea. It doesn't always have to be sweet It doesn't have to always be diabetes. And <laughs> you, you know, some of the sweet teas you buy, that's nothing. Ooh, like, oh, that's yes. what it tastes like. It tastes like diabetes. I got to water this down. Have, a, you know, a glass of beer with your meal. You'll What will happen is you, nine times out of ten, will eat less and enjoy your meal more. And eating less like is always that. good. That's true. So here it is, y'all. Pale ale. Pale ale. Mm-hmm. And until the next one, this is Urban Boo signing off. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Bye. See you next time.